All right, so this isn't going to be the most exciting of videos. However, it is a very important one. And whether you stay and watch the whole video or just take the fact that you need to know the most common nuclides, you need to know their half-life, their average energy, and ideally their gamma constant value. So that's what we're going to cover today. Not saying that these are the only ones you need to know because that would be foolish to say that. However, it is important to at least know these and then be able to add others that you know as well. But this is the list that 100%, without a doubt, you need to know. Also, know what all these values are. You know what the units are for these values and why they're important, of course. So we're going to begin with cobalt-60. So here we've got 5.3 years. I listed these in terms of half-lives going down. So cesium-137, we have 30 years. Actually, I guess I lied. <laughs> I do not. My apologies. So I thought they were somewhat unreasonable. Then for iridium-192, a very important one that we use for brachy that you need to know is just 73 days. I-125 is 59.6 days. Palladium is 17 days. These are really important for prostate LDR treatments, why we choose each one, and then why, for example, the prescription of cesium-131 could be less than I-125. And the prescription is less because it has a shorter half-life. It deposits that energy faster, is a more biologically damaging, so we can have a less overall dose than something that releases all of its energy in 60 days. So now moving to average energies. And these were always the ones I struggled with. These other two I could remember, but I don't I don't know why. I never could understand or remember energies well. It's something for this exam you just need to work on and make a flashcard and practice it if need be. So we've got 1.25 MeV for cobalt 60, 0.662 MeV for cesium. Also, what I do, I like to memorize one unit. I know you could say, oh, it's uh, you know, six. 62 keV, perfectly fine, but that's not how I like to remember it. I want to remember all MEVs, and then I only have to remember the number. I don't have to remember and match the number with the correct unit. That's how I like doing it. Certainly do what works best for you. So 0.38 MEV for iridium. Then we've got 0 0.028 MEV, point. 0 to 1, and then 0 0.029. So a lot of the proton LDRs have very similar energy, which makes sense. Now we're moving to the gamma constants. Here we've got 1307, and I put the unit right here. It's the same unit throughout. Then we've got 3.62. Now we have 4.6 for iridium-192. Now we have 1.45 for I-125. And with the about same average energy, and you look at the unit, it makes sense that all of the proton, or the, I about said proton, prostate nuclides are very similar. Here we've got 1.48, and here we've got 1.4. So again, not the most exciting video, but this is just really important that you know these values. Again, any other nuclides, add them to the list. These are the absolute bare essentials that in any question, in any circumstance, even if the question doesn't ask you specifically, what's the gamma constant for iridium-192, they can easily ask that at any moment. And you are expected to know it because these do have clinical implications. If you have any other questions, comment below. Thanks for watching and happy studying.